Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's entry is entitled, Pump It Up. Well, I suppose one sign that I'm truly over the hill is that I can no longer stand loud, aggressive music. I never thought that I'd be the one to yell, turn it down, when my youngest son is blasting the system in his room. But alas, I've come to this. Now, in an effort to convert me, William says that bass is, is, is awesome, and to really get the most out of the music, you've got to pump it up, Dad. Of course, all I get out of it is a headache, and another reason to avoid anything to do with rap music. Of course, being a preacher means that I can usually salvage a grain of truth out of most situations and build some kind of lesson from it, so here it is. We get a lot more out of our Christian lives when we pump it up. Jesus said it this way, you are the light of the world. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and praise your Father in heaven. Matthew chapter 5, verse 16. Easy listening Christianity doesn't get anybody's attention, doesn't get anyone moving. In order to make an impression, uh, in order to get people to sit up and notice, we've got to pump it up as our uh, good works are done. Uh, we've got to pump up our evangelism and our pure lives. The Bible is correct. Faith does come by hearing, Romans 10 verse 17, but without some volume on our part, the lost won't be able to hear our message in this noisy world. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.